Today's video is going to be a minimal outfit ideas lookbook. You're going to see lots of clean lines, neutral colors, and some elegant minimal outfits that you can easily recreate yourself. So let's get started. For outfit number one, I decided to go for an all black base outfit and finished with my camel coat. Wearing the same color from head to toe underneath coats is a really easy way to work with color to appear taller. By wearing a black top, black trousers and black boots, it creates one long vertical line, which is what elongates your body. I'm wearing leather pants, a cotton turtleneck and some black heeled boots that I thrifted for just $12. And of course, if you experience very cold winters, you can easily throw a scarf and beanie on top of this. I usually wear thermals underneath my clothes in winter for extra warmth, but because it's the middle of summer here in Australia while I film this video, I decided to skip the thermals so I don't pass out, but you get the idea. I would always wear my thermals under cotton tops or jeans. For outfit number two, I have gone for a blue black look. One of the easiest go-to color combinations that I always reach for are blue jeans with black everything else. So I kept on the turtleneck and added my favorite double-breasted blazer, which is actually really thick and warm. I'm wearing my long straight leg jeans, which are long enough to hang over the boots, so I can hide extra thick socks underneath there as well. Once again, I could throw scarves and beanies on top of this if needed, or even a black overcoat which I will show you an example of later in the video. This third outfit is a minimal preppy look. I'm wearing tones of blue mixed in with beige. I'm wearing a navy merino wool sweater over this blue shirt. I've unbuttoned the bottom two buttons of the shirt so that the shirt kind of sits apart at the bottom. I like styling shirts a little bit messy when they're underneath sweaters. I like to pop the collar a bit and play around with how the bottom of the shirt sits. I love how the raw hem of these jeans looks with boots. It would even look really nice over the top of the boots too, but the jeans are just a little short for me to do that. For the next outfit, I've simply swapped out the blue tops for a cream turtleneck and added a maroon bag. I love wearing this coat tied up as well. If I was wearing this tied up, I would swap my bag so that it's crossed over my body and sat at the front of my hip. For the fifth outfit, I went for an all beige tonal look. I started with this off-white wool top, which is beautiful and dressy all by itself. I then decided to layer on top my cropped cardigan. I love this look for layering crew neck or v-neck sweaters on top of high neck pieces. Layering fine pieces is a great thing to master for winter dressing. I remember when I lived in London, layering was a must because it was so cold outside, but everywhere inside was really well heated. So you have to be able to adapt to the different temperatures that you'll feel and experience in one day. I actually originally tried this outfit with beige pants and it was just a little bit too beige. So I swapped them out for white jeans and it looked so much fresher and more expensive. For outfit number six, I wanted to give you another example of white jeans in winter, because I know a lot of people think that white jeans can only be worn in the warmer months and I'm here to tell you otherwise. So I've gone for a simple black and white outfit. Instead of wearing black jeans, the white jeans just bring some freshness into this outfit. Now to layer up for winter, I am throwing my long black overcoat on top of this outfit. When wearing an overcoat on top of a blazer, you will always look better if the overcoat goes just past your knees. Anything shorter will kind of get mixed up with the blazer and just won't work as well. So you can see how this overcoat just sits really beautifully on top of the blazer. I only own two scarves and this blacked ribbed one is what gets me through winter. For outfit number seven, I've created what feels to me like an expensive look. There's something about this cream turtleneck that always makes me feel a little bit expensive. 
I didn't want to put the beige boots on because that would make the outfit really too beige again. So I went with the black boots. The black boots just ended up looking a little harsh against the cream colors. But as soon as I added a black thin belt, the black boots were tied into the outfit seamlessly. I chose a black handbag to complete the black accessories. So outfit number eight is my favorite. I feel most me in this outfit, and I think it's because I'm wearing blue jeans again. I did the same thing again with the black belt for this outfit. It just ties the black boots and black blazer into the outfit for a completed look. I thought the cream coat might look nice on top of this instead of the black one, and I like how it turned out. I threw over my same black scarf and my black bag and I am ready for winter. Just six months early here in Australia. If you enjoyed today's video, you might like to see more of my fashion styling and lookbook videos by clicking up on the screen over here. Or you can follow me over on Instagram at Emily Elizabeth May. As always, I am so grateful for you spending your time with me today. I'll see you in the next one.